So that's really the reason you came, I know. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to hide it, I know you came for the cheese. The first piece that we're going to present is Bruce Hunter's. Uh, Bruce? Yes. Do you want to come out? I will. Thank you, Bruce. Yes! 
steps you take brings you closer to the drain. It's not Christmas, but a wedding. So have a beer. What do you think it is, Doctor? Fisher, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Fisher, who is a uh, very talented actor and uh, um, musician. He's written a lot of things. We did uh, Freudian Slip of the Young together. He's very talented, and uh, he was nice enough to come out and help me out. And uh, and this is uh, just some guy. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, a Tom. You know, sometimes in the universe. Um, you ask for things and they come to you. I wrote a play uh, called The Garage Band Land, and I was looking for a drummer. And in the course of while I was doing that, I was also directing another show, and I was very busy. And uh, I started getting emails from this guy that I knew from uh, when I taught him improvisation years ago. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll talk to you when I have some time. And uh, while I'm thinking of trying to find a drummer, he ends up, he is a drummer, has been a drummer all his life. So. I thought, oh, well, you have to act on those things. So I got Thomas uh, involved. This is Thomas Gibbon, ladies and gentlemen. He's a very, uh, very talented artist. He uh, did all the artwork on his drums there. If you can see that, very detailed. Uh, so they're for sale. Are they still for sale? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so things are working out for him. <laughs> So this uh, garage band land thing I, I wrote, um, we uh, tried to get it in the fringe, but uh, <laughs> we, we, did, we didn't get in, um, which happens quite a bit. But uh, in the play, uh, it's about a band that gets back together again. They haven't been together for, uh, for a while, and um, they decided to reignite the band, and the band's called the Asinine, <laughs> A-S-S and Nine, so that's cool when you got a number in it. Uh, but anyway, uh, in the play they're arguing over if they should be doing old material because some of the old material they used to do is really bad and nasty and horrible. So one of the uh, titles from one of the songs that I wrote and it was, uh, I tried to come up with the nastiest title I could and it was called uh, uh, Daddy's Nine Homes. <laughs> and uh, later when I was reading the play I thought, hey, that, that sounds like a, a good title for a song. So I ended up writing the song after I came up with the title. So this is a song, you've got to imagine, it is a nasty song. So imagine in the, in the context of a uh, sort of a funky, um, you know, friend show. It's uh, called Daddy's Nylons. Here we go.